Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm technically not a technician, and today's video is in partnership with Danny Dawson from the very popular YouTube channel Artcade. I'm assuming most of you know of Danny and all the work he has done in the community. If not, please check out his channel. You will find it linked in the description. And for today's video, I'll be showing you how to install a set of homebrew games that Danny has built and that you can add to your custom Simpsons cap. This video is for educational purposes only and is only intended to show you what I've done and what my results are. If you choose to modify your systems using this or any other information I've provided from any videos or content I've created, you do so at your own risk. I, this channel, or any person connected to this video will not be held liable for any choices you make with your hardware or software. Modify at your own risk. With the warnings out of the way, let's talk a little about this app and its gameplay. Toe Start, and as the title suggests, this is a homebrew app directly from our community, and this little gem is made to be played with your trackball. This game also uses Button Remapper, one of the community favorites that you may have seen me talk about when it comes to touchscreen games. If you've not seen what I'm speaking about, then please see the link above or in the description for more details. I believe it's important to note that for this video, I will be assuming that you've installed and know how to use this new version of Button Mapper. However, the new software can be found with a simple Google search using well-placed keywords. When using the right keywords, you should be able to find a ton of great arcade tools and homebrew. Please feel free to look around. However, for today, I need you to look for and download the Art Kate Simpsons Trackball Games 1 through 4 archive. After locating and downloading the needed files, we'll also need to extract and transfer those files to our arcade. To extract our files, use whatever zip utility you wish. I'll be using 7-Zip as it works great and is open source. I'll also need to move our files over to a pre-formatted USB drive that my personal cab can access via an externally powered USB hub. If you'd like to learn more about my external hub setup, then you can check out the link in the description to that video. If you don't have a USB hub, don't worry, as you can always use an SD card. Regardless of how you wish to share these files between your PC and cab, I do recommend using a quality drive for best performance. In short, I'll simply extract the files onto the base of my USB drive, and this should make it very easy for me to find the needed files once we've moved over to the cab. Those are all of the software prerequisites needed, and the hardware needed is even simpler. All you will need is a 12-in-1 encoder. Installing this is very basic, and I'll not be getting into that in this video. However, if you've not seen this item and how it can benefit your cab, then please check out my trackball video. The 12-in-1 encoder is the only hardware needed for this set of homebrew games, and it does open the door for other third-party apps like Retro Arch. With the assistance of our friend Mr. Artcape, we'll transfer the four APK files over to our cab. And as stated before, to do this, I'll be using the external USB hub that I forwarded the ports to on the front of my cab. Transferring the APK files shouldn't take long. And remember, if you use good quality media, this transfer will go faster. So we've had a technical issue. And as far as the backstory, let's just say the original video of this install is a very low quality, as it was taken by an extra Note 9 I had. Also, my son's phone has taken a crap. He assures me that it was through no fault of his own, and I find that to be bullshit. Regardless, I've now got a new camera, and he will be making do with the old Note 9. With that explanation out of the way, let's get back to the video. We'll now enter the cab's OS by pressing the Windows key and the letter N at the same time. This will open up a menu, and we'll expand this menu and find the setting icon. Click on that icon, and a new settings menu will open. We'll use this new menu to navigate to the storage section. You'll now need to select your drive and locate the four APK files. Once found, you'll need to install each one at a time. It doesn't matter what order you install them in. Just make sure that each is installed. These are homebrew apps, and Mr. Arcade has informed us that they do crash sometimes. However, once up and running, each game works very well. When sole four APK files have been installed, 
We'll need to configure button remapper. I'm not going to review installing this app, and I'm assuming you get the concept of touchscreen remapping as shown in Mr. Arcade's hack called Flappy Homer. In short, there are two touchscreen areas that must be remapped. One is to reset the game and is placed on the top right side of the screen, and the other is to mark your player's set point, which I'll be placing on the middle left side of the screen. We can now back out of Button Remapper and set up icons for this game. Mr. Danny Arcade Dawson, as we like to call him, has broken down this game into four mini games, and he has included icons for each. If you've seen the past videos on Nova Launcher, you'll understand the concept of what needs to be done. Basically, we'll click and hold down any area of the screen, and this will give us a menu that will give us the ability to assign an activity. To make this happen, we simply place the activity on the home screen and tell Nova what app that activity will correspond to. Once you've set up the first mini game, repeat the process for the remaining ones, and you'll then have access to this brand new homebrew app that Mr. Danny Art K. Dawson himself created and has shared with all of us. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Danny for all the help you've given to so many. You're a big part of what makes this community so great. So for all you do, thank you. If everything is done right, you should now be able to navigate the new APK files from the home screen with the native arcade controls. These icons look great and are much better than the default Android one that the OS normally assigns. You can move these as you wish and even group them in a folder if you find that helpful. Regardless, you should now have access to each minigame and be able to start them with the click of a button. As far as exiting the game, simply exit with the button remapper via the live button, as done with the other APK files. Let's start a game, and let's check out some gameplay. When booting for the first time, you may crash. Just try again, and once up and running, the game will run very stable. It works well with the trackball, and has challenging gameplay. Each mini game is a little different from the next, and the background music is very fun. Regardless, you should check them out, I also want to thank you for checking out the channel. It means a lot to me. Please remember to leave a like and a comment, and let Danny know what you think about the game if you give it a try. And if you've not done so, please consider subscribing. All of these are small clicks of the mouse for you, but to this small channel, those little clicks help us beat that YouTube algorithm. Thank you, and we hope to see you again.